call it a fresh start today. We help you hit the reset button on everything from food and fitness to fashion and finances. This morning, the so-called gig economy. Have you heard of this? People choosing to make a living as their own bosses. Here's today financial editor, Gene Chatsky. If you're tired of being tired at a nine to five, the gig economy may be calling your name. It's a fancy phrase used to describe Americans who make a living through non-traditional means. Freelancers, independent contractors, and a growing number of digital entrepreneurs who support themselves exclusively through app-enabled tasks like ride-sharing services, home-sharing platforms, and handyman listings. One of those digital giggers is New York native Chris Gatto. How did you get started gigging? I began hosting with Airbnb about five years ago. I wanted to have my own business, and, you know, Airbnb was just a kind of a way to help pay the rent without having a permanent roommate. But a growing number of giggers like Chris are finding long-term success. According to a recent poll, 44% of U.S. adults have used these apps, either as a consumer or a provider. That's over 90 million Americans. This boom of small-scale entrepreneurs is a result in part of a society that wants more and more things done on demand. And a major part of Chris's work? On TaskRabbit. The things that you get in terms of tasks, at least for me at this point, are what's known as available tasks. And those are people that want things done now. What do you do in a routine day of doing things now for people? One of the major things that I've done has been putting together furniture. Ikea it, furniture. Ikea furniture, exactly. Nobody wants it to do Ikea. It is so hard to put together <laughs> Ikea exactly. furniture. And, and nobody wants to do it. The attraction is an obvious one, flexibility and independence. You take on as many jobs as it takes to pay the bills. But being your own boss comes at a cost. There's no steady income, benefits, or paid holidays. I kind of look at gigging as, I guess, the new temporary staffing. You're, in many ways, working for yourself. It's really building a business. It's absolutely building a business. Fill in the blank for me. Being a gigger has made me blank. I would say more confident in being an entrepreneur. So in the spirit of helping out a fellow entrepreneur, I decided to make a 24-hour investment. And you know the rules. I know the rules. Here are the keys. Okay, have a good one. You too. So while Chris headed out to continue building his business. Hi, Chris from TaskRabbit. I decided to give mine a well-deserved siesta. Well, I hope you left the place in good shape. Jean Chatsky is here. I took very good care of it. Okay, so who is a good candidate for this kind of work? So it's important that you actually be outgoing, be a people person, because you're dealing with strangers all the time, and you have to win them over with yeah. your personality in order to get good reviews. You need to also be very detail-oriented. Got to manage your listings on pretty much an hourly basis, mm -hmm. and you need to be flexible enough to work when they want you to work. Okay, there are some people who are watching thinking, sign me up, so how do you sign them up? So you apply. You go to these various sites. You guys just talked about one in, in Pop Start and Trending, mm -hmm. the new babysitting service. But you go to Airbnb or TaskRabbit, you apply. You may have to pass some inspections. If you're gonna drive for Uber, you gotta get your car inspected. You may have to pass a background check. That's something that you wanna know. Then you go out and you look at the marketplace and you write your listing, figuring out what you should charge based on other things in the area. And especially for Airbnb, photos are really important. Mm -hmm. Chris's listing, he had more than two dozen pictures of this very small place. You want to make it look appealing. You do. Yeah, you, you know, do. I, I have to say I wondered about putting personal information online, your home, your address, things like that. So you have to be really careful. And, and you have to read the fine print enough to understand what sort of insurance policies are in place, what sort of protections are in place for you, and the sites differ. So an Airbnb, for example, they've got a million dollar liability policy mm -hmm. in place for hosts. TaskRabbit is very upfront about the fact that they are just a connector for the people who are providing service and the people who are buying it. So the liability is on you. As far as that personal information, you want to be very careful what you're leaving out and about in your home or your car. A lot of ID theft happens oh, the, the old-fashioned old fashioned way. way. Yeah. yeah, people just pick something up. Okay, and it's, I mean, the bottom line, can you really support yourself 
putting together all of these kinds of things? You are building a business and you really have to approach it like that, put in the time and the energy and you can create a steady stream of income. But otherwise, for a lot of people, this has become a very good way to tide them over from job to job mm -hmm. or just bring in a little extra money. Yeah, to the nest egg. Yeah. A, sh a shoe budget, if you will. If you will. <laughs> Thank you so much. You can find more for Start Today's Strategies. Always good at today.com. Dylan, over to you. Thanks, Savannah.